Hi friends, today in Advocacy Academy, I am introducing an exciting new feature, Code Interpreter in Copilot Studio. Most of the time when we work with generative AI, it's great for creating text or creating images. But when you ask it to generate something complex, like a chart or a report, the results can be, well, unpredictable. Sometimes we just need a bit of good old fashioned server-side deterministic logic, something we can trust to run the same way every time. That's exactly what Code Interpreter gives us. Instead of generating the output, the AI generates Python code which runs on the server, which then returns what you ask for, graphs, Excel files, even Dataverse updates. In this video, I'll show you how to enable it, how to build your first prompt, and how it opens the door to a whole new class of reliable agents behaviors. If we come into Copilot Studio and create a new tool and then select prompt, normally I would describe in natural language what I want. In this case, I'm saying that we're giving it help desk ticket data and I want it to create a histogram of tickets created by day of the week and show the SLA status. I can ground this prompt on Dataverse data, which will mean that we always have live ticket data. I select the created date, the first response, due date, and the actual response date, and then I add those fields to my prompt. When I test this, you can see that it produces a text response. Well, it's created a markdown table of tickets, and because I asked for a chart image, it's done its best, bless it. But here's the problem. It says that it's truncated it for brevity. Even if I switch to GPT-5 and ask for JSON output, the base 64 text, well, is basically modern art. It's never gonna be a reliable chart image. And this is the key point. It's unreasonable to expect a large language model to generate a graph in this way. What we need is something much more deterministic. So here's where the new feature comes in. If I go into Power Platform Admin Center and then select Code Generation and Execution for Copilot, I can enable it for my environment, then it will light up the option inside Copilot Studio to toggle Code Interpreter. That means my prompt can now generate Python code. If I go back to my prompt and enable Code Interpreter, it even says here that it allows me to update Dataverse tables. If we test it, you'll see the difference. It doesn't use the LLM to create text output, instead it first generates Python code, and then it runs it, giving me back a real histogram plot with the SLA status. And because I asked it for a summary, it also generates text explaining the results. This isn't generative AI making up the output, this is generative AI writing Python. And then that Python is executed deterministically server-side. If I switch the output to JSON, you can see how the data is structured. There's a summary property and a files array with the base64 content of the chart image. It even logs the run details so I can see exactly what steps were executed. If we look at the code, we can see it's importing modules, using the Dataverse Connector client, retrieving ticket data with the columns I asked for, grouping by weekday, and then plotting the histogram. Then it constructs the summary text by concatenating strings. This is deterministic and that's the point. If we look at the JSON output, it will be the same each time as long as the input data is the same. It won't regenerate the Python code unless I change my prompt instructions. We save that and now we can add it to our Copilot Studio agent. Because I'm connecting to Dataverse, we need to create an agent flow to wrap the prompt. We add a run prompt node and choose the prompt that contains my Python code. I could pass parameters here like a date range, but for now I just want the summary text and the graph image. For the summary, I can map it directly to the insights property in the JSON output. For the graph, I need to use an expression here to pull the base64 content out since the output contains an array of files. In this case, I know I only have one file, so I'll just select the first item in the files array. I save that, give it a name, generate SLA graph, and then publish. When I test the flow, you can see that it runs the prompt, executes Python, and the response contains both the summary text and the base64 image here. Right now, when we ask for the graph, the agent flow is executed, but we just get a long base64 string in the output. It's doing what we asked for, of course, but what we want is to return something that will always render correctly. In the flow, I go down to the completion settings and I can configure an adaptive card here. In the adaptive card definition, I add an image and a text block, 
For the image, I point it to the file base64 content, and for the text block, I just select the summary output. That way, the agent doesn't just give me raw text, it shows the chart as an inline image with a summary beneath. When I save and test that, the experience is just so much better. It runs the prompt and the Python execute server side, and what comes back is a proper chart image plus the summary text, and it will always use this format. And if I publish this agent and use it in Microsoft 365 Copilot, the exact same thing happens. This means we've effectively vibe coded a piece of complex server side code in a matter of minutes. Now let's look at a more complex scenario. Here's a shift calendar showing which agents are on duty and a list of tickets that are currently all unassigned to staff. Assigning tickets to staff based on shifts, SLAs and existing workloads is complicated and it's not the kind of thing that you want to cram into a PowerFX formula or a set of steps in a flow. With Code Interpreter, I can describe the rules in natural language. In this case, the rules are the agents must be on shift, tickets must be open, keep the current agent if they're still available, and only reassign if absolutely necessary, prioritizing tickets with SLAs at risk. I did need to provide a little cheat sheet of how to update Dataverse records, but once I did, the prompt was able to read from Dataverse and then patch the records back. When I run it, you can see that all of the tickets are now assigned according to those rules. This is not just analysis, it's actual updates to Dataverse data performed in a repeatable way. Finally, let's generate a report. Python is great for working with Excel, and that's another sweet spot for Code Interpreter. I can create a prompt asking to build an Excel report of ticket SLAs. It imports loads of libraries, creates a workbook, adds worksheets, and writes both a summary and detailed sheet. There are loads of predefined libraries available to this sandbox that the Python runs in. When I run this prompt, you can see it produces a downloadable Excel file. Back in my agent, I can wire this up just like I did with the graph. I create an agent flow, run the prompt, and map the output file. This time, however, it returns a downloadable Excel worksheet instead of an image. So I add a topic so that the agent knows how to handle queries like get Excel ticket report or download ticket report. And then when the user invokes it, the agent runs inside the topic, the Python builds the file, and then the topic returns it as a message with a downloadable attachment. So the same workbook structure is created every time with the contents coming from the live Dataverse data. You can imagine other patterns such as an autonomous agent generating the report automatically on a schedule, emailing it to a distribution list, or even saving it to SharePoint if you don't like your mailbox being spammed. Code Interpreter in Copilot Studio opens up a whole new range of possibilities, and we can now move beyond just generating responses to vibe coding deterministic server-side logic. This is a huge step forward for Copilot Studio, so check out the link in the description below, and why not give it a go? Could this even replace PowerFX functions one day? I'll let you argue that out in the comments. Well, that's all we've got time for today, so make sure to follow our channel, and I'll see you next time. Cheers. <laughs>